All right, coming up next, it's a heavyweight collision between Kane Velasquez and Daniel Cormier. So here he is, the one, the only, the inimitable Daniel Cormier, high school wrestling coach, former two-time United States Olympian, two-division UFC champion. But that wasn't enough, folks. He wanted to not only be in the video game, but to actually call his own walkout DC, the floor is yours. They say at EA Sports, if it's in the game, it's in the game, I'm in the game, and I'm also in the game as I call my own walk to the octagon. It is a phenomenal thing to watch me walk into the octagon with a shirt tucked in my pants, my pants tucked in my socks. So you're talking about a fashion icon. You're talking about a guy in Daniel Cormier that looks and fights as well as anyone the UFC's ever seen. And those are facts. Noguera, the Noguera fight oh. was truly a master class in striking. Yes. We can't finish them in one round. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a freestyle fighter holding a professional record of 22 wins, three losses, and one no contest. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 248 pounds. Fighting out of San Jose, California, Daniel D.C. Cormier! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a wrestler holding a professional record of 14 wins, 3 losses. He stands 6 feet 1 inch tall, weighing in at 240 pounds. Fighting out of San Jose, California. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the former UFC heavyweight champion, Kane Velasquez! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean, our referee for this one. Ready. Ready to fight. All right, DC, round one is upon us, and if you are somebody that enjoys the ground fighting game, this matchup could be custom made. This fight is made for me. But effective here fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by DC. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. All right, looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC, and defensively, you better be careful. So you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way. The referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move. When his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. All right, working inside the corner. 
closed guard now. This is no safe place against this opponent. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Velasquez. Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Under three minutes remain in round one. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Oh, man, this ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. So he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Well, you got to be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Useful strike there. The ground is down on point tonight. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Velasquez. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. All right, working on the ground here, his opponent's feet on the hips. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Cain Velasquez. Now he's gonna try to attack Kimura here. And this might just be a matter of time. understand how people don't know that this guy wants to submit you. He is the best grappler, best submission specialist we've seen in a long time. So a seminal moment for this fighter here tonight as he gets the win by submission. Huge victory in his career, and it'll be very interesting to see how they match make him moving forward. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at four minutes, six seconds of the very first round. For the winner, by submission, Daniel D.C. Well, what an incredible result here tonight as you see the winner there celebrating his victory by way of submission. And they put so much stock into finishing this fight. They felt like to really spin his career forward, they needed to not just win, but get the finish, and they certainly got it tonight. They got the finish. He's such a terrific grappler. Every time he is on his back, he looks for submissions over and over again. Eventually, he found one tonight and got the desired result.